Hey guys, Otacon back for another video. And as you can see, I have before me a copy of the limited edition of Kobash Chan uh, no Maid Dragon. Um, and I wanted to make a quick video because this was actually a gift from Playongo, um, a fellow YouTuber, a buddy of mine. And so I just wanted to say um, thank you so much, Playongo. You definitely didn't have to do this, but. Um, Definitely um, really grateful and, and, and love the gift. And I would say that um, I haven't watched the anime, but I'm definitely, I've seen some clips and it seems like something that I would definitely want to watch sometime soon. And uh, and I'll definitely pop it in and check it out. This was new, um, but I don't have kind of um, two hands to kind of do an unboxing uh, while holding my phone. Cause you know, this is a low budget channel or zero budget channel. But uh, yeah, this looks really good. I was actually, you know, it was already on my radar to pick up. So it's really nice that uh, uh, I was able to get this as a gift. So thank you once again. Um, and I'll definitely give it a shot here. And I also have the plastic wrap here. So maybe I'll try to like slide it back in later uh, to keep that uh, extra protection there. And uh, it is a really nice set. Here, um, basically, it comes with this. Um, looks like it says a guidebook. It has some nice illustrations, and it's a really nice kind of art book slash, I guess, guidebook. But you know, as you can see, with not just text, a lot of um, uh, good graphics, so to speak. And yeah, here's the. And then it comes with the game, of course. And there is supposed to be a kind of. Um, According to that little sticker, there's a PR card inside here, which, um, again, I'm not going to try to open uh, with one hand. So, yeah, so there is Made Dragon. Um, and if you're into shooters, this is something that you might want to consider picking up. I can see this a few, down, a few years down the road, uh, getting quote unquote rare. That's my quote there. Um, but I do have a couple of pickups, not many, but mostly I've been lately focused on trying to uh, get downsized to make room. But I did, I did buy a couple of things here um, that really probably wasn't a good idea. But I saw this Himekishi Monogatari, and I really like the cover. And there's a seller on eBay selling these new. Uh, with the pre-order bonus, there's two more copies available. It is like sixty dollars, probably a little more after tax and whatnot. But uh, I am I saw this uh, following some Japanese collectors, and it does seem to be picking up in price over in Japan. So you, sometimes there's a tailwind uh, where things start to pick up price, as I mentioned probably before, and then there's. Um, some things on eBay that haven't caught up, so there's uh, I've been grabbing those uh, before they kind of go up in price. Uh, this one is just a straight kind of adventure game, is my understanding. Yeah, but it does come with this cool original drama CD. And uh, if you look at me uh, Medukari or Milk Milk Car or whatever, um, you can see that uh, it's been. Uh, climbing up in price these days. Uh, a couple of other things I did pick up here is just randomly um, cross Anju. So as you might be familiar, I try to kind of come up and pick up what you know you would call stragglers when the end of a generation comes before things start to become unavailable and start picking up price. So that's the sweet, price, sweet spot to pick up a lot of these games um, is right when nobody wants it and you know they're all focused on um the ps5 and the switch and sure enough you can imagine well the vita is weird because you know it died uh, in in the west many years ago so it's already passed you know uh it, it, all this to say is that uh the english versions of vita games have always kind of been pricey these past few years but in japan now it's definitely starting to enter that phase where um, it goes from, you know, there's just a very long phase to go from past gen to retro. So 
this is um, Cross Andrew, and this one actually hasn't really gone down in price at all. Um, it's a licensed game. I try not to pick up licensed games um, because I generally don't like them that much, but I uh, thought it's worth a try and, you know, be thought worth getting before, before it uh, goes up in price anymore. The other things I did pick up is uh, I did pick up Shin Hayarigami 3. Oh boy, I have one and two um, in both the... Actually, I don't think I, I have it on PS2 only. Um, and there are Vita versions, I believe. They remastered. But I haven't... I played a little bit of the first one. I'm definitely behind on it. But uh, as you can see, it's, uh, it's a horror genre. And uh, I do need to... I do intend to come back to it. But here is the third entry in case, you know, these things go up in price who knows and then a rare almost never buy english games but i did see this dead to, to rights retribution and it was pretty cheap and i thought it's worth picking up so the things i do buy uh, are console exclusive so this is the xbox 360 and ps3 exclusive that's not on the pc and also is an obviously a, an American or, or Western game made by Western developers. Um, so, and I do try to pick things, those things up that look like they might be hard to get. So I do have a copy of um, Splatterhouse on PS3. And uh, I sold, you know, I sold a bunch of stuff that is uh, kind of pricey now, but I should, probably should have waited. But I think I talked about that in a pre previous video. So there's Debts to Rights Retribution. I do want to talk about a lot of things that I do want to get rid of. So anyway, play on go if you're watching or anybody who, who I kind of chat with. If you ever decide you want to go and in, go into PSP import collecting, let me know because these uh, games do not sell very quickly at all for well, I mean they're in Japanese and they're on PSP, but I'm trying to get rid of trying to cut down my PSP collection uh, this one you know I I've finished this game and it was it was all right but again there's nothing special and and so I thought okay well I can make room by selling that and I don't know if I mentioned this in the last video but yeah these these Macross games um, have not been that just not been my style um, I think I have one yeah so here's Macross Ultimate Frontier so anyway if anyone's interested just uh, DM me or whatever. And here is Tiger and, my, and Bunny on the air, Jack. Um, I, I watched the anime of the, uh, recently and it's it's not bad, but I also played this for a couple hours and it's, it's not a bad game at all. But again, just not something that I would want to really keep as part of my collection. One interesting thing is I, you know, I get, I get this, the whole theme of the anime in some sense, but they have so many sponsors on there. Um, so, for example, she has like Calbi right in there, and another kind of company, and she has and um, Blue Rose has Pepsi on her arm. And it's like, wow, it's really distracting. I mean, but I get that that's the whole, you know, the whole idea of the anime. But um, yeah, so there's Tiger and Bunny. Um, what else? I've also played through some of these um, Nanoha um, games, and it's kind of like a weird versus fighting game with where you can also back up and shoot your magic from a distance. Again, you know, it's it's cool, but not something that I'm really keen on keeping as part of my collection. Another one here, Vantage Master Portable. Um, this is a Falcom game, which is why I picked it up. There's a little bit of um, there's a little bit of uh, the seal. Where is it? I'm trying to find it. Um, or maybe it's a different game. But it's a straight up like strategy game with like almost no story. And it's if you like um, if you like strategy, this could be a really cool game. But uh, you know I don't like strategy games that much and not one that has like that's just pure you know 
yeah, let's just go all strategy, just battle after battle. Um, yeah, and I have a whole pile of other games here that I'm thinking of getting rid of. Um, you know, I do have, for example, the uh, 3D Mario World, oops, on Wii U, which is obsolete, pretty much like almost other Wii U games, every other Wii U games, except for, like, um, I don't know, I can't even think, there's like two games that's still exclusive to the Wii U, and, um, some other games here that I'm looking to get rid of, again, a lot of PSP games are this uh, Koi Hime Muso. There's, this is, oh, here's another Nanoha game. And uh, there's actually three of these, so I'm actually trying to find the other one. So, but you can see this is like Yeti Best, and this is a port of a PC game anyway. So generally try to keep my videos around 10 minutes. I think um, I've, rambled on long enough so anyway if you guys are if you guys are interested in PSP imports uh, let me know and I'll see you guys next time